water. 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 Hi mga kabibes! Welcome back to my channel. And if it's your first time watching one of my videos, then I'm Miss Dance of Life's Vibe channel and I am creating videos about English lessons. Ayan, kakauwi ko lang galing trabaho and dito ako sa bahay. Supposedly sa school ako nagbo-vlog kanina. I already have started vlogging earlier for my content for today. Naka-8 videos na ako. ako wow! Ako. However, everything just went wrong because we were asked to prepare kasi nga meron daw bagyong darating on Monday. That is why we have to uh, pack things up and itago yung mga dapat itago, ilikpit yung mga dapat ilikpit. And that is why my entire afternoon was spent for doing such things. Okay, kasi nga, prevention is better than cure. Baka yung mga modules, baka yung mga modules na hindi ko pa na-check, eh, baka ma-wash away. Wash away. Or yung mga test paper, nakakatapos lang kasi ng periodic exam ng mga bata, baka mawala. Or mabasa. Kaya, we have really, really made sure that nakaligpit yung mga dapat, iligpit. Okay, so much for that. So much for Chica because we have to learn something new for today about English lesson. Siguro yung iba sa inyo mag-wonder why we have to learn English. Well, unang-una, English is not just a subject. English is a language. And as a language, English is a universal language. Meaning, pag napadpad ka sa Korea, sa kung saan saan mang lugar o bansa na hindi nagdasasalitan ng dialect mo or ng lingwahe nyo sa, ba, sa lugar nyo, eh, you have to use English because that is universal language, meaning maiintindihan niya nila. Kaya marami na ngayon ang nag-aaral ng English because it is really important, especially when you apply for a job, you have to use English. Lalo na pag tinanong ka in English, you have to respond in English. Maybe some of you will think na we are trying hard to be native speaker of English. However, hindi yun sa ganon. We really have to learn, however, to how to speak in English. Like, siguro trying hard nga talaga tayo maging native speaker, but there's nothing wrong with that. That is why for today, I thought of a content for today's video about the most important consonant letter in English, and that is letter T. We are going about the consonant letter T. Ayan, sa America kasi, sa America namin, Char, in America, there are many, actually, there are many ways on how to produce the consonant T. But for today, for today's video, I am going to teach you four of them. Four of them. And you have to make sure that you will watch this video from the beginning till the end. So that, matututunan nyo yung apat na ituturo ko. <laughs> Ayan, siguro minsan may mga naririnig tayo magsalita sa English. Kapunang na yung bangs ko. Siguro may mga naririnig tayo minsan na nagsasalita ng water, butter, uh, internet, center. Yeah. Hindi yan sa, ay, ang art art naman, internet, internet, internet lang naman yan, or water lang naman yan. No. Maybe that person or those people that you uh, naririnig, naririnig mo magsalita ng mga ganun, or magpronounce ng mga ganong words, ay sinusunod lang nila yung rules ng American English. So, ayun na nga, wala nang paligoy-ligoy pa. I will teach you now the four rules or ways how to produce the consonant T sound in English language. Unang-una, what is letter T? Letter T is one of the most important consonant in English. However, ito rin yung isa sa mga consonant na hindi natin nabibigyan ng import 
Isa ito sa mga consonants na we can't Isa ito sa mga consonant na hindi nabibigyan ng pansin pag nagsasalita tayo Pag natutunan mo tong apat na ways on how to produce the consonant T sounds and then you try and then you started speaking in English using or applying these four things na matututunan nyo you will somehow sound like a confident native speaker of English. Hindi yan sa pagiging maarte o pagiging trying hard. It's just about growing your English communication skills. Okay, number one. Una way how you're going to produce consonant T sound in English words just like these words. Do you say water, water, water? Do you really have to emphasize letter T? No, you sh you you don't have to. Okay. Because in English, in American English, when a T or letter T comes between, meaning ang nasa pagitan ng dalawang vowels, you have to sound it like D. That is the reason why we some or we will sometimes hear people saying water water better because water ang piece of water i between two vowels a and e so that is one of the rules or ways that you have to remember when it comes to producing the t sound in an english word way for you to produce letter T in American English is if T is followed by letter L, you should also sound T like D. Just like the first way or rule, T will become or will sound like D. Example of the word that follows the second rule or second way is the word bottle. You don't say bottle. Give me a bottle of water. Diba? Kahit ikaw mismo sarili mo, parang bottle. Tama ba sinasabi ko bottle? So, that is the reason why you have to pronounce it bottle, bottle, bottle. Because T is followed by letter L and it will basically becomes or sounds D. Bottle. Bottle. And same with the word settle. I would like to settle in U.S. Char. I would like to settle in Manila. I would like to settle here in Bicol. Okay. Because T is followed by L. And we are ready to learn about the third way or procedure for you to properly produce letter T or consonant T in English, in American English. Ito yung sometimes we hear people saying internet, 20, center, and then we react like Ate, ate, 20 lang yan, internet lang yan, center lang yan. It is because they are following the rule number three. Wherein, when <laughs> When the letter before T is letter N, T will be a silent letter. silent letter. How are you going to do it? Listen. Internet. 20. Center. If you notice, those words do have letter T, right? After N. However, did you hear me sounding T or putting emphasis to the sound of T? I did not because the rule is if T or yes, if the letter before T is N, it should not be sounded or it should be silent. Internet center 20. I have $20 in my pocket. Ooh, wow. <laughs> and you will also say the internet here in Philippines is really, 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 really terrible. And center, you say center, put the vase on the center of the table. 
But of course, there's an exemption. Kung nasa Pilipinas ka, or nandito tayo, diba, bibili ka lang naman ng, bibili ka lang naman, or magpapabarya ka lang naman ng 20 pesos mo, hindi mo naman pwede sabihin, pwede po magpabarya ng 20 pesos ko. So you cannot do that, diba? Minsan, parang kaarapihan nang yan, ibinabagay din nang yan sa ganda. Char! Hindi, seryoso. <laughs> Siyempre, kailangan isa lugar at isa tama rin, o isa panahon din, sa sitwasyon din yung pag-follow ng rules sa English. Kasi nga, sabi ko nga, American English. So, talaga magsa-sound like maarte tayo or trying hard tayo kapag kay, hindi naman kailang sundin yung ganong word like center, internet, eh ginagawa pa rin natin. Bawa, ganun nga, sa tindahan lang naman tayo. Uh, yun. May bari po ba kayo ng 20? Or po ang internet provider nyo. Ah, diba? Parang napaka <laughs> abasta, diba? So, you, re you just really have to apply it kung kinakailangan. Halimbawa, nasa mga public speaking kayo and you wanna sound like native speaker of English and you wanna sound like a confident native speaker of English and you wanna la and you wanted to be the spotlight. Yeah. Siyempre, kailangan mo nang i-apply yung mga ganong rules. Yeah. Anyway, the fourth rule that I'm gonna teach you is the trickiest rule ever na matututunan nyo ngayong araw because dito na pumapasok yung mga curtain, mountain, forgotten, mm, mm. <laughs> Ayan. Because the, re the reason <clears throat> the, <clears throat> the reason behind it is if T comes with N comes with N iba yun sa rule kanina na if the letter before for T is N, iba yun. Ngayon, if T comes with N, then T will be silent, and then it will be followed by N sound. N. That is why we say curtain, mountain, forgotten, forgotten, mountain, and curtain. Okay. Pero, balik tayo sa basic. Sabi ko nga, depende sa sitwasyon. Kung bibili ka lang naman ng soft drink, you cannot say, Pabili po ng mountain dew. Or pumasok ka sa department store. Nasaan po yung mag-cutting niya dito? Cutting niya dito. O, diba? No, it's not that. You will really sound like maarte or trying hard kapag hindi naman kailangan i-apply yung mga ganung rules, eh, i-apply mo. Just like what I've mentioned earlier, depende sa sitwasyon, kung saan mo siya dapat i-apply, sa okasyon, then you have to public speaking, mga formal speaking, English classes, at work, office, mga ganun, ganun. And if you, if the shortcut there is, if the, or the point there is, <laughs> and the, the point there is, if the situation calls for it, then you have to. Okay, and we are now done with the four rules of producing tea in English, American English. And I hope you learned a lot about this video kahit hindi tayo masyadong seryoso ngayon. Kasi nga, siya lang seryoso ang buwan yung natin masyadong gawing seryoso. Yan. Yeah. Bilangin mo natin yung bangs natin na ako. <laughs> and those are just the four rules that you have to learn for today from me. I hope you are not getting tired. Getting? I hope, I hope you are not getting tired of watching my videos. Just continue watching my vi videos. I will just continue uploading lessons like this. And you just continue watching because kahit ganto, kahit ganto tayo, medyo, medyo ganun minsan, <laughs> you will learn something or a lot. And ayun na nga, if this is your first time watching my video, please subscribe to my channel. Do not forget to click subscribe. And click the notification bell so that you will be notified kapag you will be notified kapag nag-upload ako ng mga video na pampagood vibes na. Ayan. Vibes, vibes na. Ayan. Thank you so much for watching and see you again on my next video. Bye!